I believe, uh, for the main vids. And uh, today I've got a, a very special guest. Goes by the name of, well, Jen Brown O'Drag, stage name. and Jenny I'm Drag. Gonna, Jenny oh, Drag. Oh, and I'm going to call her Jen today. Yeah, yep. so do, do you correct me. Yes. I forget it. I forget it. <laughs> but mm -hmm. um, just, to, just to kick off, Jen. Um, would you just give me a little bit of background about yourself, please? So just to let the viewers know all about yourself, if that's okay. Um, sure. Um, just kind of in a nutshell. Um, I've I live in London for about oh gosh, a couple of decades now. Um, I'm originally from New Jersey, um, in America. Um it's right next door to New York. Um, so um I I did music over there for years and 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 played uh new york a lot um did cbgbs like in the 90s and stuff like that and um, i moved over to london because i'm a complete anglophile so um i really influenced by a lot of british music and i moved over here um about early 2000s um had you know i was doing music there and came over here to kind of you know see how it would work on this side and um still doing it so um yeah so i've uh, my... the, the 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 band the the priscilla's gen mm -hmm. yeah uh, how did you uh, come about the title um it was actually it was just uh one of the original band members um came up with it she was a, kind of obsessed with priscilla presley right um, so it's I thought a, so yeah so it's a bit of a take on that when we started we had really big beehives and you know the the flick sort of uh, you know uh, eyeliner and stuff like that pre Amy Winehouse and I have to say I do think she nicked my look because I used to see her hanging around in Camden and then suddenly she'd be high. Everybody, yeah. Jen's the original. God bless her. I mean, I know that you know it was the Ronettes and uh, you know uh, <laughs> we we didn't invent the beehive, but uh, you know it uh, we did kind of bring it back i think but it got too much it was just a it was pain i said we all have loads of big hair so why don't we just do our own thing so uh, I it was, to, I well, to know, Jen, who's the other band members uh, they all got fantastic names like you yeah so uh everybody in the band at the moment who's been with me for about five years i think now um they all go by one name each and it's not priscilla so we've got um we've got Yola, who is the drummer, she plays uh, also with Adam Ant. So she's been oh, Adam Ant for about 12, 12 years or so, 12, 13 years. Um, she just came off a big tour with him. They toured around the States for a couple of months. Love so Adam she, Oh, I love him too. So she, she's she been with us for, for about five years. And um, so she's back from touring. And um, so we're going to be, you know, back to the, the, the lineup. Um, my guitarist is actually uh, Valkyrie, and she is she plays bass with Lena Lovett. Um, so we've got a bit of an '80s pop icon, uh, you know, thing going on in our band, which I'm thrilled, <laughs> thrilled about. And they're all great people. Um, so you know, she's she's doing bits and bobs with. We just did a, t a tour with Lena 
um recently and that went really well we were kind of did a few cities up north and stuff and then we've got uh the bass player is called taylor and um taylor's yeah so we've, we've all kind of been in the in the band together for yeah for about five years i think now uh yeah so how, how would you describe your music then john what's i mean what what's the sound is it uh punk is it yeah is it i mean it's uh, it's definitely punky. It's definitely got a punky edge to it, but it's also quite melodic. So we're not the screaming type. Um, I've never really been the riot girl type, uh, but you know I like melodies. Um, so punk in the sense of probably a bit Blondie meets Buzzcocks. Oh, uh, you know, yeah, sort of. Oh, two it, fantastic names there, Blondie and Buzzcocks. Yeah, yeah. So that's kind of what, uh, you know, I think we kind of meet on that with as far as influences go. And obviously, of course, you know, having a drummer who drums with Adam, you know, the drumming is phenomenal. Um, you know, Val's uh, influences, you know, with Elena thing, you can kind of hear them coming through because she's been playing with her for about eight or nine years. Um, so, yeah, so I would say that's kind of maybe a little throw a little B-52s in there. And um, that's kind all of the right you know. words, eh? Well, <laughs> Well, yeah, you got to come see us. <laughs> and I, I, I definitely need to come and see. I mean, for me, Blondie, that was who I was in love with at school, basically. Yeah, I think everybody was, weren't they, though? <laughs> wow. Absolutely, yeah. She was gorgeous, bless her. She is, but, and a great, um, absolutely so, phenomenal voice, too, still now. Absolutely. Um, <laughs> and you kicked off 2003. Um, have you had any, you know, like, big collaborations over the years and... Who, who you played with in the past? Uh, um, what supporting wise? Um, yeah, yeah. So we've toured. We've been really lucky to do gigs with uh, the Damned. We've we've done um, you know little bits, uh, mini tours with them. Uh, we we actually played with the Cramps on their very last uh, UK appearance, I think. Um, and I think they did a few shows in Europe, and then sadly, you know, Lux died. So I think. Um, that was about 2000, I think it was 2006. Is that, that was at a sold out Astoria in London, which was pretty, um, pretty amazing just to have the light. We were the only support band and just to have the, the lights go up when we were on stage and just see everybody and loads of our friends were there and stuff. So that was pretty cool. Um, I've, got, I've, I've got to admit, I, I'm, a, I'm a Priscilla's virgin. And <laughs> I, I, I didn't know about you guys. I'm, I'm, I'm one of those... Um, well, I'm a big Smiths fan, and I tend yes, to listen I to I tend to listen to like ninety percent the Smiths. Yeah. Well, yeah. Through doing the vlog, I will event. You know, I, I'll come across other bands like Keely. Yeah. And obviously, once I've come across you guys, I've been doing a bit of homework and, yeah. and checking YouTube, out, and you've got some awesome numbers on there. Oh, I'm really, you. I'm really impressed. So I do definitely. Need to get up to speed, and I'd love to one of yeah. your li live events. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, well, hopefully we'll we'll make it back up in your neck of the woods. Um, we love we love up north. We love 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 playing up there. <laughs> well, I'm in Nottingham, so it's more Midlands, but it's it's in the right direction. Well, our drummer is from from Brum. She's a Brummie. Oh, so, okay. Yeah, yeah. So not far away then. Be happy to be. Uh, yeah, yeah. We did. We did actually played in Nottingham. Uh, where did we play? Some really old pub um it was very not it was really cool um i don't know it was in autumn i can't think of the name right now but yeah but we'll be back <laughs> yes oh, well, i won't we'll mess it next time but um today in relation you mentioned the bus mm -hmm. um didn't you make uh a, one of your songs is about one of the bus cocks members did you pass away yeah it was peach Shelley, the singer um Pete Shelley was a very good friend of mine um, for many years, and um, he sadly died in um, 2018. And I had a dream that he died, like, weeks before he died, and it freaked me out. Um, the way I found out about it, I, I got up and I, I, I checked, I looked at my phone, and obviously he is a public figure, so of course I looked, the, the way I had it in the dream was I, I saw it on social media, and I was like, oh my God, it was so real when I woke up, um, you know, looked on my phone, looked at, and I messaged Pete said, are you okay? I just had a really weird dream about you. didn't tell him <laughs> what it was, but I said, uh, I'm glad you're, you're okay. Cause it was a very, very vivid dream and it, it really worried me. And I come from, um, I know it sounds like a stereotype, but I come from Irish, um, 
uh, family. And in my family, there is like this sort of, they get that premonition kind of sixth right. sense that, you know, and I know my mother has it, my brother has it, some of my aunts have it, my grandmother had it. And I went, oh no, I don't want to have it because I don't want to, <laughs> I don't want to know, you know, unless it's a lottery ticket number, let me dream about that. But I don't want to know my friends are dying. And uh, seven weeks later he died. And it, and it was, I found out in the restaurant where it was the last time we had lunch together in Camden. And so it was just really, really crazy. So I wrote this. When, when, when you turn the Zoom camera on tonight, mm. you don't see the Grim Reaper standing behind me on the corner or anything. Do I you? don't. No, you've, you're safe. You've got you've got a guardian angel up there. About ready for about ready for the moment of thing. The couple of things I've had. Ready for I know people are going to think I'm a witch or something. Oh my god. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm not. I'm yeah, not well, a witch. I um, saved that one. So that that song. That's is that the dream? Is that was that your last release or? That's the most, yeah, that's the most, uh, that's the latest release. So that's the one that's kind of out now. Um, it's actually in, um, it's in the, it's on a three, the three, six, five radio charts at the moment. Um, so it's hopefully climbing the charts. We'll see what happens with that. Um, and we actually did, the video was art directed by Malcolm Garrett, who did, right. did you know, at most of, if not all Buzzcocks, um, covers and stuff. Uh, cause I had sort of met him at, um, um uh, several years ago at one of his exhibitions and it was it was very heavily you know buzz it was mostly buzzcock stuff that he had on display and i met him there and then i got in touch with him and i just said you know my the director who did the film paul McClune, um he said i wonder if we could get malcolm just to give us permission to use some of his artwork and he goes i'll, I'll go you one better he's like do you want me to art direct it and we we're like oh my god this is Yes, this is a dream come true. <laughs> so, um, so he did that. He ended up doing the sleeve for the artwork, and we've got new merch coming out. So we're going to be having like new T-shirts and stuff with, with exciting his... times. Uh, yeah, I did, I did I vote for it. I voted okay. for it yesterday, by the way. You were? I voted and shared it for you yesterday. Oh right. On the charts, you're number thirty-one at the moment, aren't you? That's right. Yeah, yeah. See, so you yeah, got so... your finger on the pulse there. <laughs> I'll be keeping a track on that for you. So I'll definitely promote it for you on my social oh, media. Oh, great. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, talking to people that have passed away recently, and you don't have to talk about it if you don't, but have you lost, lost some bills close to you recently as well? I did, yeah. I lost an old friend of mine who was one of my old... Uh, he was, it was the first friend I was actually in a band. Well, no, it didn't really turn into a band, but we kind of, you know, played in somebody's garage i think back then or something it was it was one of my first yeah a friend called chris and uh yeah sadly yeah yeah we and over the years we we kind of said you know we should still do this we tried it once when we were teenagers and again 10 years later and i said you know we're, we're gonna do it one day and he's like absolutely you know so um unfortunately no but uh would it be okay if i dedicate this video to christopher to tonight so okay that would be lovely. Chris Chris Skelly. Yeah. Chris yeah. Skelly. I'll, oh, I'll stick you. I'll stick him in out to the title. So we'll we'll remember oh. him for you. Oh, he'd appreciate that. He was a big um oh I'm getting off. Yeah. Getting Sorry, emotional. Thank you. No, no, that's it's lovely. Thank you. Yeah, because I did a post about him because um he was in a band called Dahlia Seed as well. And I think they were kind of big on the sort of grungy scene um in the nineties. And they did, you know, wonderful posts about him as well. So he would I'm sure he's smiling down at this right now. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So going 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 forward, no problem at all. It's an absolute pleasure, Jan. But uh, going forward, I'm looking at your dates, you've got quite a few gigs coming up right in the near future. Yeah. Um, so I mean rather than go through the list, what I'll do is if it's okay with you, I'll stick a, a full list of your tour dates and the end credits. That'd be great. Some some links so everyone can have a quick look at that. Uh, I know you're playing, is it, with the uh, the Smiths United? Is it tomorrow? It's tomorrow, yeah. That, so that's, uh, what's today? Saturday the, is it the first? Is it, no. What's today? I have no idea. Yeah, it it's the, the uh, 31st today. Last day Okay. Of May. Yeah, so June 1st. So we're playing at the O2 Islington Academy. So I'm just, I'm, get, I'm doing a couple of numbers with them. Um, they kind of discovered me at the, at the All About Andy thing and at the Star and Garter recently. Which is a, a, quite an amazing segue there into the next subject. Yeah. Because, um, like I said to you, at the start of the year, well, before we saw the video, unfortunately I was ill, so I didn't make the event. Right. So 
something about the weekend. What, what was it all about? The all about Andy, uh, Jen, the first show. It was, like. it was fantastic. So, you know, Julie Hamill, um, like pretty much runs the, runs the show there. Yes. This was her last year. Um, so well, there's quite... a badge. I had a special badge, badge made for you, you see, there, look, with a face on. Oh, right. I the, Julie Hamill, right. Queen of the Star and Garter since 2013. Oh. I never got to wear it, unfortunately, because I couldn't go. Well, you can always wear it. Yes. It's always worth wearing a Julie badge. <laughs> Uh, it was great. It was a great. Is it? Yeah. What a shame that you that you missed it. Um, it was uh the first night. You know. Um, I mean, the band flew in that week from New York. The the Salford lads from New York City, basically. Um, and we had played at the Dublin Castle in London back in January, I think it was, and that was the first time I played with them. It was the first time I met Keeley. Um, it was the first time I met um the whole band. Andrew Perezzi, who is who's also Morrissey's drummer for several albums, for his first albums. Um, so I only met them at Soundcheck at the, the first show I did with them. So I just came in and sang a few songs with them. So that was, I hadn't done anything like that before, I don't think. <laughs> so it was great to see them all. Um, so at the All About Andy um, event, it was, um, it was, it was lovely because two of Andy's brothers were there um and they spoke about you know growing up with andy and stuff um mike joyce was there and he he spoke which was great um and some guest singers it was um john robb did a punky version um of panic um yeah, good was, John uh, Robbie's. yeah he's a regular gotta love john, the voice of manchester right yeah. <laughs> uh steven from in spiral carpets did a number um oh gosh uh badly john boy was fab um, he did a did his own little set as well, and um, it was yeah, it was great because he had worked with Andy and stuff. So it was quite emotional, and I'm sure it really, really was for the people who have been going all along. This was my first one, so yeah, uh, and I'm a huge Smith fan as well, and huge Morrissey fan. So, Fantastic. Yeah. Well, well, thank you for the update on that. I mean, like I say, I missed it, but I'll, I'll be there. I'll be there next year. We'll be back to normal. Yeah. Yeah. And my next badge will be a Priscilla's badge, I can imagine. Oh, you know. well, I have to give you one. <laughs> I'll keep a track of you guys, definitely. Yeah. But that's yeah. the good thing about this is is meeting people and discovering the music as we go along. Yeah. I'm yeah. a big me. I'm not I'm not a snob, but I don't just listen to the Smiths. <laughs> it's just that yeah. uh, that's that's the uh, the main man, uh, Morrissey. But yeah. what's the uh, the future looking like for the Priscilla's then, Jen? You know, what have you got coming up in the future? Any any new things or um so yeah, I mean it, it's it's you know with no label and no management and everything, I, I'm you know, I'm kind of running the show and it's a lot. Um it's a lot of admin and it's just and it's you know, it's expensive to do this and you know, we're all just kind of doing whatever we do just to kind of make ends meet. So whatever money I kind of bring in to do the sales, I'm like, okay, like I'm trying to get t shirts done right now. Okay. Um, and they look they look fabulous. I mean it, they were from the video, like stills from the video, which was Malcolm Garrett's um, thing. So, um, so we're going to be getting some of those. We're actually, um, so we're kind of looking for a label. Um, we have somebody who's interested, um, but we're open to options. Um, we, um, where, we're where can we buy, where can we buy your merchandise by the way, Jen? Um, well, you can get it on Bandcamp, which is um, whatever the Bandcamp thing is. I love the Priscilla. I love Bandcamp slash dot the priscillas i think okay. um we're actually we've, we've actually got a website that's being um redone at the moment as well so but okay. it, it's it's up and running um it just needs to be updated so that's the priscillas.co.uk uh we're on facebook we're on i'm trying to do twitter again even though it's a nightmare i'm trying to do it you know now that it's x i'm trying to go back we're on instagram all the usual suspects you know um and um you can always send us an email at info at the priscillas uh dot co dot uk i think it is but yeah that'll be on the website as well so yeah so Fantastic. i mean yeah, just keep in touch i mean i do try to update as much as possible so we've got we're playing um next weekend we're playing a new cross in uh in london and then we're doing a gig we're, we're doing pride southampton um pride festival so that'll be amazing over. yeah hey yeah that should be that good that should be amazing yeah, and um, a couple of shows. There's a real big one I can't divulge yet, but that's coming up in a couple of weeks, and I've been well, sitting on exciting. it. 
it is exciting and it's going to be in London and I'm, I, I want to scream it from the rooftops, but I'm afraid <laughs> I'm afraid to say anything right now, so I won't. Uh, but yeah, so we're looking forward to that as well. So hopefully by the time I give you the list of where we're playing, I can tell you what it is. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Well, it's been fantastic talking to you, Jen. I mean, as is customary, what I usually do with my, uh, my guests is ask you to leave a message for my mother. Oh. My, my mother's name, my mother's name is Anne. And she's uh, 80 this year, bless her. So oh. would you leave her a quick message for me, please? Absolutely. When is her birthday? Her birthday's in December. She's 8 in December. Oh, I'm 26 in December. Is she Capricorn then? Or she's yes. Sagittarius? Yeah, okay. Capricorn. Okay, well, Anne, my fellow Capricorn, um, 80 is a big one, but, you know, 80 is the new... 40 so um i know it's a few months away we don't want to rush it too much because uh, we want to enjoy the summer but um this is jen jenny drag from the priscilla's and wishing you all the best and and hopefully hopefully paul will bring you to a gig one of these days uh, oh, and don't be <laughs> that'd be amazing Th thanks jen you've been an absolute star i really appreciate it oh thanks so have you thank okay, you so we'll sign off for now and uh, all the best same to you. I'm looking forward to it. The dream was so real when I woke up this morning. The dream was so real when I woke up this morning. Trying to get a message to you. So relieved that I could get through. I thought you were gone. I was wrong. Looking forward to meeting up. Time permits and I'm a little loud. Dream was